Hi kids! My name is Shernet Smith and today I am going to teach you how to make a mask. First thing you'll need is a pattern. To get this pattern right here, all you have to do is pause the video. Go get a sheet of paper, a marker and a ruler. Zoom the pattern on your computer screen until the measurements on your ruler match the measurements shown here on the pattern. Finally, place the paper against your computer screen and simply trace the reflection of the mask with your marker. After you've gotten that tracing, you might want to transfer your pattern to a piece of cardboard because that will make it easier to just place that cardboard on your fabric and mark it out. Which is what I have done here. And now you can cut out your pattern easily. And that's what it is right there. You'll need to cut two parts. So this is my facing and I'll have another piece of fabric that I'll use to make the main part of my mask. And here it is. I am using the Jamaican bandana fabric. Now I have the four pieces of fabric I need to make one mask. You will also need two pieces of elastic, quarter inch thick or less because it will be easier on your ears and it should measure five inches or 13 centimeters long. Pin your elastic onto your main part of your mask just like this. And then stitch the elastic in place so you won't have to fight with the pins the entire time. Now you will stitch the curved parts of your mask together. When you're doing the right side, make sure the elastic faces each other. After you're done stitching the curves, iron them flat. Put the two parts of the mask together, leaving the edges that you just stitched pointing out on both sides, just like this. Before you sew around the mask, put two pins in at the bottom, about two inches away from each other, so that you'll have a place to turn the mask out when you're done sewing around it. Stitch from the pin that's closest to your body when you're at your sewing machine. If you're using a sewing machine, go all the way around the mask. You may back tack over the elastic just like this to make it stronger, but it's not mandatory. Just go all the way around. You'll stop sewing at the pin that's farther away from you, leaving that opening that I mentioned before. Clip off all the corners when you're done sewing around the mask. It makes the corners look better when they're turned out. And that's what it looks like after all the corners are clipped. Remember this hole? Yeah, we're ready to turn the mask out now. Just tuck everything through that. Pull your elastic out. Push out all the corners nicely because we're going to do a stitch all around the mask. It's looking good already. Now this hole We've got to tuck the lip inside because we're going to stitch that shut. But first, put a couple of pins in it just to make sure it finishes nicely. There. So now we're going to stitch right across that hole 
and remember to remove your pins before you get to them so you don't break your sewing machine needle. Another thing is when you get to the corner, sink your needle before you make that corner so it looks nicer. And there it is. Just give it a final iron. And voila, the mask is done. And if you don't have a sewing machine, you can totally do this by hand as well. Just follow the same steps. Now that you know how to make them, you can make one for all your friends and family. So go on, sew away. Thank you for watching.